Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another great arcade game video for you this evening. This one is so huge that we had to move a couple games out of the way to get it completely in the shot. This is the famous, very, very popular, I'm sure everybody's played this, dual cabinet. This is the, uh, I think they call this the standard cabinet. Uh, there was a deluxe cabinet as well with big old monitors, but this is the standard one that most people played. Uh, Two-player Time Crisis 2. Uh, this was made by Namco, and I believe this came out in 97. Possibly 98. But uh, we've had this game in storage a long time. Probably five, six years. And we never brought it in because we just didn't have room for it. This thing is huge. Um, but we sold several games, and we uh, we had a little window where we felt like we could fix it up, get it in the shop. So here it is. We were able to get it up and running and everything uh, working as it should. And we figured we'd film a little video for our friends on YouTube. Now, if you've never played it, we've had this one before, the one-player version. And it's an awesome game. It says 98 there, so maybe that's when it came out. This is the red side, and then this is the blue side. This thing is huge. If you look, uh, like here's a pinball. This is a big guns pinball, which is a very big pinball. <laughs> That's how tall it is. And you can see that the uh, the gun games are about as big. I mean, the uh, time crisis is about as big but more than twice as wide. Check that out. It's really cool getting one of these going again because it's something that uh, was created to uh, be expensive and have a massive amount of quarters ran through it. But check that out. Huge, huge cabinet. These originally, I think the guns were a little different originally. These are recoil guns, but they're the HAP, just the regular 45 guns, but they do recoil like they're supposed to. Um, I, th I, think the, I think the original ones, though, were shaped a little different. They looked a little different. But these are certainly nice ones. And like I said, they've got the recoil, the coil in them, which is pretty cool. We filmed a video of a one player before, but I think it didn't have the recoil, so if you've been waiting for that, today's the day. Cooperate with your partner. Stuff like this, little decals that are on the, the uh, pedestal, these are always the hardest to replace because nobody really makes them and they always get picked at a little bit by the people that are playing them. So let's read over the instructions. Namco Time Crisis 2. Now remember there was also a Time Crisis 1 and there was a Crisis Zone that had already been out by this time. Cri actually, Crisis Zone may have came out after this one. I always get that confused, but uh, there have been several. So there was Time Crisis 3, 4, I think there's a 5 now. Action pedal. Release the pedal makes you hide and reload. Press the pedal makes you go forward and shoot. Press the pedal. So each side has a little pedal that you press. Game screen. Bullets remaining. When out of bullets, release pedal to reload. So you just let go of the pedal, you hide, and it automatically reloads you immediately. Life. Each time you are hit or time expires, you will lose one life. When all lives are gone, the game is over. Time limit. Time has expired. You lose one life. 1995-1997 Namco Inc. All rights reserved. So 95 would have been when they made the original Time Crisis. And then 97 is the update, which is basically this game. But it may not actually came out to 98. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I'm sure there will be pl people that know that will reply. Check this thing out, though. They designed it really well. There's a bass speaker underneath the monitor on each side and then up here on this big huge sign there are two nice speakers right there really nice ones too and man they uh, there's a special little amp board in there that really kicks it out so I mean it it's a great sounding game you got six speakers in the cabinet and uh, both of these monitors I believe have been replaced I don't I, I don't know what originally came in these but the one on the left is a uh, Wells Garner D9200, which is like a digital monitor. 
the one on the right has been replaced and is actually a Wells Garner 7500, which is a really nice looking monitor. And they're both standard resolution. Oh, wait a minute. They're both medium resolution? Hmm. You know, I'm not really sure. If it's a 7500, it's medium. If it if it's a 7400, it's standard. I didn't rebuild them. My brother did. So I'll ask him. But uh, the sign separates and comes off the top. You can see if you look close that it's actually its own little piece. So you can take that off to get it through uh, to get it through lower doors. It unbolts and unplugs. And then the pedestal cabinet on the front also unbolts and unplugs. One of the things whenever we got this one was all the wires had been cut going to the pedestal, which took forever to figure out. We had to use a multimeter and trace them back out and uh, see which ones go where. Now, if you walk up and you hit the trigger, it goes to the through the little attract mode. And notice how they're synced now. They were unsynced a second ago because we had played a one-player game. The hard part on these, especially whenever you've got two different monitors that are different manufacturers, is getting the colors exactly the same. So if you look, they're slightly off, but it's pretty close, so uh, we went ahead and left it. You can see that the tube color is even a little different. But both of them work good. The guns work great. We got the linearity about the same on both of them. And it's a, uh, it's a pretty awesome cabinet. The thing is so huge though, I imagine, this is probably going to go back on location somewhere. Um, this may make it into a, like a local barcade or something because unless you've got a ton of room in your house, you have no business having one of these to be, <laughs> to be honest, it's huge. So there you go, that's Time Crisis 2. What I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll upload onto the end of this the video that we shot previously. We shot a whole bunch of video playing it before on the one player cabinet. It's the same exact game so I won't go back through and film a whole video of us playing it again, but I'll upload uh, right after this finishes um, the video on the tail end of it of me playing the one player version about a year ago, I believe, is when we filmed that, but uh, it's pretty cool. I get pretty far in it. If you're interested in that kind of thing, stay tuned. And uh, we, uh, since we've been bringing in some of these big ones like this uh, that we've had in storage a while, the, the reason we're doing it is because we have a little bit of room in the shop right now. So we're working through some of our projects that we've had, like this one, forever. So this one needed some body work, it needed a little paint work. Uh, one of the guns wasn't working, both the monitors needed work, the wiring needed work. So it just took a lot of time. So we brought it in and uh, if you subscribe to us below, we're going to be bringing in a bunch of stuff like that that's, that needs a lot of work that we're just going to go ahead and go through and take the time to do it. So we'll, we'll be bringing in a bunch of stuff that we've had in storage that we don't typically get in and filming uh, exciting new videos for you showing you what those are all about so hold on one second we'll put that film up of us playing it last time All right, we're going to film the uh, the game booting up because it's really cool on Time Crisis. Check that out. Power on test. Sub CPU initializing. Check out Pac-Man at the bottom. Very cool, very cool. Just checking a bunch of stuff, making sure everything uh, tests out right, make sure the RAM's doing its thing, make sure that the... Uh... The PC ZRAM, we all know what that is, I mean, <laughs> is working. DRAM Bank B, I mean, it got you 11J. I mean, Data ROM read check O. Here we go, folks. Here we go. 
I can see it coming. Oh, and it's here. It's got that strong base. We'll film the uh, we'll film the attract mode just a little bit. Up at the top, it keeps wanting you to link the game. We've only got one of them. I can't figure out how to turn that off where it just says one player, so there may actually not be a way. It may just say try two-player cooperative play, even if you don't have a second uh, game. Whenever you go to start the game, it won't let you select that mode, but I can't get it to not say it on the attract mode. But So I'm, I'm not sure if there's a uh, setting somewhere that I'm not aware of or a little jumper that I need to remove. But is dispatch two agents to prevent the launch. Keith Martin. Robert Baxter. Notice in the corner it says, Free Play, Christy Ryan. Uh-oh. And there's Wild Dog. It's almost ready. My dream will soon come true. Ha, 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 ha. Ernesto Diaz. Four, three, two, one. Boom. That's how you do it, folks. Let's try this sucker out. I'm going to try not to knock over the tripod. So you can't, you can't uh, shoot the top one. Let's see if I can stand where I don't. Christy, I there found we go. some data about the That's satellite network. Haven't the agents left yet? Keith and Robin are on their way. No one can beat them. No one can Robert. beat them. Oh no. <laughs> there he is. Well, well, it appears we have a guest. Looks like we caught you just in time. A leak like this would have been problematic. To say the least. Oh no. A punch like that and you think you're going to conquer the world. Oh snap. She's talking you trash. Have no idea how perfect our plan is. Now take her away. What the? What the? Oh no, it's Keith and another guy. Here we go, folks. You ready for this? Fire! Are you ready for this? Out what's going on? Oh, I wasn't pressing the pedal good enough. I'm an idiot. how you can hide from a uh, missile no problem holding hiding from a grenade in this game Yes. Since it's free, why not? Oh no.
one clear. Why? Because I can. That's why. Area two start. It's on the other side of the truck. Action. Look at that idiot. It's cool how you hide behind something different depending on where you are. it was friendly fire but oh well Machine gun. Continue. Area two clear. my own guy five times really I don't think I should be blamed for that when he keeps weaving back and forth of my gun I mean that's not really that smart oh 
I was out of the bullets. That's how you do it, folks. All right, so there we go. That's all I'll play tonight. I would be here all night if I played all these games all the way through, by the way. That is Time Crisis 2. Maniacs have got the military satellite, and they're moving it by train. We better get going. There's no time to lose. What a cool game. Look over there. Oh no, what are they doing? Let's go! Let's go. Whoa. There! Go, go, go! Action! Super cool. Continue! So there we go, folks. Game over. Perhaps you remember that one from yesteryear. Now, by the time you see this video, Time Crisis 2 may be off and it's someone else's crisis now. May not even be ours. Um, but you can check out our website to see all the games that we have available right now, even if you're watching this 10 years from now because you're a Time Crisis nut. Uh, you can see all the games that we have for sale right now on our website at lionsarcade.com. Go check it out. Or maybe you're not looking for an arcade game. Um, maybe you just like watching these videos. Because let's face it, this thing takes up a lot of room. Have you seen the pedestal? That's fine. Just uh, subscribe to us here on YouTube. We're going to be filming tons more videos. Every time we get in something cool like this game, we will film a little video of it and upload it for all of our... Uh, all of our YouTube friends. So we will see you on the next video.